Luck is on my side <laughs> of the soul. Welcome back to Jared Pro Shop Vids. Today, Jungo is on the lanes reviewing the brand new and highly anticipated Zen Soul. Fun fact, Jungo was just selected for Team Canada, so make sure to give your congratulations in the comments below. He'll be bowling with some of the world's best, and we're not sure why he'll be there. <laughs> so by far and away, the Zen line has been the most popular from the 900 Global brand, so it only makes sense that they come out with the third ball. So the original Zen was a pearl, the Zen Master here was a solid, and then we got the Zen Soul being a hybrid. It has the same Meditate core as the other Zen balls, and this one has the S77 hybrid cover stock. So with the Zen Master being super strong and super early out of the box, and the original Zen being super long and super sharp, we think this will be the best of both worlds. So we know that tons of other channels are doing the Zen Soul compared to the original Zen compared to the Zen Master. So we wanted to change it up. So instead, today we're testing out a few different balls, which could be your next benchmark. Starting with Old Faithful here, we got the Phase 2, one of Jung's favorite balls of all time. And there's a reason it's been in the Storm lineup for all these years. So this ball is strong, it's smooth, it's very controllable but it also works on a variety of different patterns, which is why it's a great benchmark, and for many people, is one of the first balls coming out of their bag. Then we also got the Zen Master here, another Sim Solid. Out of the box, it's super dull and really strong, so you can see we shine it up a little, put it to 4,000 to match the finish of the other balls. And then we got the Zen Soul, straight out of the box, 4K finish. We're gonna throw all three, try to see the differences and figure out which could be your next benchmark ball. We got two patterns today. The first one is Carbon, our house shot. 42 feet, pretty easy. We should see a lot of strikes there. And then we'll move to a slightly more difficult challenge pattern in Mercury. That one is 40 feet, a little bit of a lower ratio. So a little bit less miss room and we'll see how these balls react. Huge shout out to all of our members across all of our different tiers. It's a great messaging with all of you and getting to know your bowling game a little bit better. If you want exclusive early access to videos, plus merch, coaching, and many more perks, consider becoming a member by hitting the join button below. And if you're really enjoying this content and especially this video, let us know by sending a super thanks. All right, that's enough from me. I wanna see how these balls roll. I might wanna get one of these myself. Let's see Jung on the lanes. What's up everyone, Jungle's back. We got the 900 Global Zen Soul here. Third installment in the Zen line. Got the Pearl, super popular. And then the Solid, just a little bit less popular I think, but totally different cover stocks. So we got the hybrid here, mix the both. So it should fit right in the middle. A bowl on the house shot here. We're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna like test these three balls, Zen Soul, Zen Master, and the Phase Two, just to see which one would be like my benchmark ball because they're all pretty similar. Everyone else is comparing the Zen to the other Zen, so we're not gonna do that. 28 here, the feet, house shot. Let's get it out to about eight. This little right came a little light, but this ball comes at 4,000 surface, which is like perfect for me. This is what I usually put my balls at anyway. The surface on the Zen Master out of the box is like really dull, like too dull. Same with the Phase 2. Uh, let's get lined up here with the sole, and then we'll throw the Phase 2 in the Zen Master. All right, that looked pretty good, but man, that ball is sharp. Pretty fresh house shot here, just has a few balls on it for me warming up so it'd be like the first game of league kind of right now zen master barks was nice enough to put this down to 4k to match the sole and we'll throw it on the same line should be a little bit earlier a little bit smoother just because it's a solid cover yeah i missed a little bit right and that ball made it back so i think the Zen Master is a little bit stronger overall, a little bit earlier, a little bit smoother as well, which is good, right? You don't want overlapping balls. All right, throw the Master again. Yeah, 
yeah, definitely a little bit earlier and a little bit smoother than the sole. We even at the same surface, so. That ball was at box finish, should be way earlier and way more overall. All right, phase two. Lots of people's most favorite ball of all time. Still in the storm lineup for a good reason. Excellent benchmark ball. That ball's a little bit flatter off the spot, not as continuous as the Zens. Let's throw one more. Barks also put this ball at 4K, just so we match the cover stocks. All right, I'm thinking the phase two hooks a little bit less than the Zens. Maybe just like a smaller core. Not sure about cover stock strength. Let's go back to the sole. Let's move three boards left of where we struck from and slow it down a hair. This ball is definitely the sharpest out of the three. Yeah, that ball is definitely the latest and the sharpest. It's got that little, little bit of pearl in that cover stock. Helps the push down lane a little bit more, a little bit more angular. All right, let's throw that again. Let's move my eyes to the left one, see if we can hit it flush. Man, see those corner pins, sevens and tens? Ball's too sharp. Coming in too sideways. How do we fix that? So we're gonna try and fix it by a little bit more up the back and a little bit slower speed just to get that ball started up a little sooner, a little less angular. <sighs> All right, maybe three left was too much. Let's go back one to the right. This should be money. Lesson learned, if you're in league, leaving sevens and tens, hitting the pocket all day. A little bit too angular, a little bit too sideways winning the pins. Square up a little bit, slow it down. A little bit forward roll. All right, one with the Zen Master here to see the difference, and then let's go over to the challenge pattern. This should be smoother on its own. Probably more suited for this shot right now. Yeah, see that, that came in a little bit light, but threw the pins around nice side to side, so good entry angle there. A little bit smoother than the Zen Soul. So if I were to bowl for score, probably use the Zen Master on this house condition. Let's head over to the challenge pattern, see how these balls match up over there. All right, halfway through the vid with Jungo, just wondering what your guys' benchmark ball is. Let me know down in the comments. Mine's a phase two, don't leave home without it. I know the Idol's my favorite ball of all time, but discontinued, so phase two, benchmark ball. Let me know what yours is. Wait, what pattern is this? <laughs> Second half of the vid, Challenge pattern, Mercury, 40 feet. I haven't bowled on this lane yet, so I'm not sure what's gonna happen, so we're gonna figure it out together. We're gonna start with the Zen Master, just cause this ball is like right in between the Zole and the phase two. So we'll get lined up with this, and then we'll see what the other two balls do. 40 feet, want my ball at 10 board. Oh, luck is on my side. That was a good guess. All right, since this pattern is like super fresh, that ball hooked pretty hard in the back end. So let's throw the Zen Master again on the same line, but let's try and roll it a bit more, a little bit up the back of it. Have that ball be nice and smooth down lane, not so angular. Angular reaction, a little bit hard to control. Oh, that didn't work out too well. So in order for me to do that release and hit the pocket, I can move a couple boards to the right. So let's do that. Stand on 24. A little bit more rollier of a release, so a little bit more up the back of it. Have that ball hook a little bit smoother. All right, really good shot there. Bone to nine, but we'll live with that. So I think, let's go down to the phase two first. It's a little bit flatter off the spot, so I think it might work a little bit better on this fresh oil condition. All right, same line for the phase two. Remember, this ball hooks a little bit less than the Zens, so should be pretty good on this. All right, pretty good shot there. Just missed a hair to the right. Left the 2810. So we're gonna have to bump one to the right, I think, here, so this phase two faces up properly. Phase two definitely hooks a little bit less than the Zens. So if you need something just a tiny step up from the phase two, Zen Master at the same surface, same layout would be really good. All right, that was a good shot. A little bit unlucky there with the seven. All right, let's try the sole. Same line there as phase two. This ball should be really angular and pretty hard to control in this fresh condition, I think, so. But we'll try it anyways. Just 
Actually, I felt like that was pretty close to the phase two shot. Just hooked more, more angular, straight through the nose. All right, so through the nose, let's go four to the left. Keep that break point in the same round 10 there. That ball is strong and angular. Because the phase two is no dud. The phase two is a big hook and ball. Strong, really strong. All right, everything's got the same layout. Everything's got the same surface prep, 4,000. So we're just seeing cover core combos differences here. And the Zen Soul is definitely the most angular out of the three. The phase two hooks the least. Zen Master is the earliest. Yeah, just a little long and angular to control on a fresh oil condition, right? So if they get over the bowl on the fresh here, I'd use the Zen Master again. So let's throw that. Same line as that sole there. Yeah, really nice. That Zen Master is a killer on the fresh. Phase two is also really good. It's just a little bit too weak for right now, I think. Gotta wait for the oil to dry up a little bit. Then the phase two would be really good. And then when you have to get left and get inside and really have that ball turn the corner in the back end, that's when you go to the sole. All right, let's go to the sole. Let's go three more to the left. Let's slow hook it. I feel like this ball is kind of meant for that. Not a bad shot, actually. Let's just slow it down a little bit more. Same line as the 810 there. Let's just slow it down a little bit more. That's the problem with like angular balls on uh, fresh oil conditions. It's hard to control, as you can see. A little swisher 810 and then a little 49, a little bit too slow, a little bit too far left. All right, let's go two more to the left and hit that same spot there. Yeah, that was nice. This ball is definitely long and angular, out of the box. Here, right, so a two pin. This ball is definitely for later in the day when you have to hook the lane. Fresh, uh, not so much. Well, maybe if you pull a little bit more surface on it. It comes out of the box 4K, so maybe you put it down to two. It might look a little bit more like the Zen Master. Let's throw a couple strikes here with it. All right, it seems like if I were to bowl for a score with this ball, that's the line I would play. Feet on 30, like 19 at the arrows, all to like 11 or 10. Let's throw a couple more from there. The ball's just really angular, right, for a hybrid. It'd be pretty difficult to use on the fresh out of the box. We have to take it up to 2,000. But out of the box, like later in the day, big core, pretty angular cover. It could be a really popular ball, especially in tournaments. Really good for playing in. If you want to play like a little bit straighter angles, a little bit more up the boards, then probably the Zen Master would be better. So let's throw this on the same line. Got pretty lined up there with the sole. Yeah, you see that hit? It's just a little bit earlier. Revs up a little sooner because of this. the cover stock. A little bit flatter into the pocket, so left like kind of a Swisher 10. Carried it though. And then brand new, phase two, same line. This ball's gonna hook a little bit less, so maybe I'll leave like a two pin or something. That was a pretty good shot. Phase two is just a little bit longer and a little bit flat off the spot and definitely doesn't hook as much as you can see. So it's like a pretty good read because I don't leave home without a phase two ever. It works on every pattern. So phase two is definitely my benchmark ball. All right, let's move two to the right with the phase two. Should be perfect here. Woo, there we go. That's aligned with the phase two. Two boards right of the sole. And of course, I took the surface up to 4,000 on the phase two as well. So if it was out of box, it would definitely hook a little bit earlier and more. One more with the sole and let's take it back to the shot. Oh, let's go back to the shop anyway, I'm tired. What's up everyone, Jungle's back from the lanes, testing these three balls out on the house pattern and also on a challenge pattern, 40 foot mercury. I wanna do something a little bit different because you know, there'd be lots of ball reviews comparing the Soul to the Zen Master and also the original Zen. And obviously this ball is gonna fit right in between those two. We decided to change it up a little bit. So we decided to compare it to two other balls that have a really good chance to be your benchmark ball. Now, what do I mean by benchmark ball? It's like the first ball out of your bag when you're in a tournament, you're not sure what the lanes are doing, and you throw it, get a little read on the lanes, the break point, and then you can either ball down, ball up, etc. For me, I never leave home without the phase two. 
I know the idle is my favorite ball ever, but phase two, still in the current lineup. Never leave home without it. Works on short, medium, and long. It's often the first ball out of my bag at a tournament just to see what the lanes are doing, how the lanes are rolling. The Zen Master here out of the box is really dull and really early, so we made everything the same cover at 4,000 to match the sole here. Comparing the Zen Master to the sole on the house pattern, the Zen Master definitely rolled a little bit earlier, a little bit smoother, and a little bit more controllable where the sole here had a more sharper reaction down in the back end. The phase two here definitely hooks a little bit less than the Zen Master with a little bit less back end reaction as well as everything has the same layout, same surface prep. So the phase two is just a little bit weaker than the Zen series here. If you have a phase two and you need a little step up, something a little bit stronger, a tiny bit stronger, go with the Zen Master or the Zen Sole here. Took a little break and then we moved over to the challenge condition, 40 foot mercury. Since it's a challenge pattern, you don't have much missed room left or right or front to back. So speed wise, everything has to be pretty consistent. Again, Zen Master looked the best. Rolls a little bit earlier than these other two. A little bit more controllable off the back end when the oil pattern ends. So that means you can keep the ball in play a little bit better, hit the pocket a little bit more often and not leave those crazy leaves that you would if your ball's coming in too sharp, like four nines or two eight tens or things like that. The phase two is also very usable on the fresh condition, just hooks a little bit less, a little bit more flat off the back end. So have to move a couple boards to the right if I wanted to use the phase two here. So either of these would be really good options. And then the sole was just a little bit too sharp on the fresh. As you can see, left a couple seven pins, 10 pins. That just means a little bit long, a little bit too sharp in the back end. So once the lanes have a little bit of play on it, the oil has dried up a little bit and the oil has been pushed down and blended out, the sole here is gonna look really good later in the day. So I think this ball is gonna be really popular for tournament players where there's many games played on a pair of lanes and you have to constantly adjust and find that oil and have that ball hook in the back end. So with that being said, the sole would also be good at some houses that are a little bit more high friction where the Zen Master and the Phase 2 and things like that, balls that are really dull, will just hook a little bit too early and be too flat off the back end. Then you wanna go to something like the Sole, which has a nice big symmetric core and a cover stock that's got a little bit more angle to it down lane. So if I were to use this ball in the fresh, I would definitely have to take the surface up to maybe 2,000, maybe 3,000, just so it rolls a little bit earlier and a little bit smoother, just to match the Zen Master here, I would think. So if you have the Zen Master, I would keep that at the box finish and then have this ball at its box finish and it should be a really good one-two punch. If you already have the Zen Master and it's shined up a little bit, lane shine, or you took it up to three or 4,000, I don't think you will need the sole. It's gonna be really similar. So it's totally up to you if you just want that little extra kick in the back end, but a very similar bowling ball to the Master. If you've had the service taken up to like 4,000 or compound or lane shine, something like that. So my benchmark's still gonna be the phase two, a really good benchmark ball for someone who has a little bit lower rev rate or a little bit higher speed, and you need a little bit more hook in your arsenal. So in my opinion, this ball for sure fits between the Zen Master and the original Zen. The Zen goes really long, turns the corner pretty hard. It's polished pearl, right? And this ball comes really dull, it's a solid. So hybrid here, 4,000 grit, everything seems right in the middle. It just seemed that way to me on the lanes too. Don't really have to throw the Zen to figure that one out. So I would definitely bring this ball to tournament play when there's a lot of games, like eight game blocks. A ball like this is really gonna work on a lot of different patterns. A short pattern later in the day when you have to make that ball hook from the gutter. Long pattern later in the day when you need that angle down in the back end. And medium patterns when it's dried up and you have to move left. I think any pattern, this ball is gonna be really good a little bit later in the day though. And then right after this ball would be the original Zen. So you can have all three Zens in your bag and have a lot of bases covered on a lot of different patterns. Just really versatile bowling balls and it's hard to go wrong with it, honestly. Thanks for watching everyone, hope you enjoyed it. Remember my question below, what is your benchmark ball? Let me know down in the comments. I love reading those. Tons of different bowling balls out there. I like to know what you guys are throwing. Thanks again to all the members. They're learning lots. If you want to join the community, hit that join button below and we'll try and help you become the best bowler that you can be. See you in the next video.